Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. It's great to see you. I hope you guys have all had a great week. So today I've got a video for you that I've been kind of contemplating doing and I'm like, do I do this? But apparently it seems to be a thing on YouTube watching people show things that they bought at Walmart. Have you seen it? Are you with me here? It seems like recently when I look through my YouTube feed of people that I'm subscribed to, people are either doing hauls from Walmart or Target or the Dollar Tree. And I'm like, do people really care what I buy at Walmart? Maybe they do. I don't know. So you know what I decided to do? I decided to kind of save some of the things that I've recently purchased kind of over here and stash them to do a video for you. And I have to say Walmart is one of my favorite stores. I mean, literally it is like two miles up the street for me. I'm usually there two or three times a week just because it is so convenient. They've got everything. Last night I was making dinner and I thought I had ground beef. I didn't have ground beef and I'm like, crap, let me go run up to Walmart. What do I do? I go up there for one thing and I'm like, okay, Michelle, walk in with blinders on. You don't need anything else. All you need is ground beef, right? I walk out with ground beef and I also walked out with a shirt and some makeup. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not going to bore you with things that I usually get at Walmart, like toilet paper and cereal and cleaners for my house. So I thought I would just kind of go over some of the really cool things that I've recently picked up over the last couple weeks. I've got some stuff for the home. I've got makeup, of course, and I've got some clothing because I told you Walmart is killing it in their clothing department lately. I don't know what's going on, but every time I walk in, I'm like, oh my God, look at that. That is so darn cute. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what I bought at Walmart. First thing I want to share with you is something that I purchased for my home. I have seen these all over. I've seen a lot of people talk about them. I think my mom even has one. And I've never really pulled the trigger for whatever reason because I love candles. Um, but I just have never bought one for our home. And I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and give one a try for the holiday season. Generally, I burn candles um, throughout the fall and holidays. You know, this is kind of the colder months. But I'm always paranoid and petrified that I'm going to leave one burning. And I hate that feeling. So I thought getting one of these, this is a wax melt warmer might be a good alternative to candles. Uh, I have seen these, like I said, kind of all over, never got one. I think there's that uh, that brand Scentsy, is that what it's called? I don't even know that, that sells these, maybe kind of made them popular. I decided to try a generic Walmart brand. I loved the look of this one, look at how pretty that is. I haven't taken it out yet, I wanted to show you first. But I thought this was really pretty and it's got one of those big old Edison bulbs. Uh, that is so popular now kind of with that whole uh, Look at that. It's huge um, It's got the Edison bulb with that whole kind of farmhouse look. So I thought this was really pretty. I love the glass I thought this was really really nice This was like maybe $17 and what you do is you just put the little wax melts on the on the top and then the uh, The light bulb warms it up and then there's a nice scent all over your home So I got one of those decided to try it and I thought, you know what, just pick a couple scents because you don't even know how you're going to like them. And I was so sucked into all of the different options that they had available of these wax melts. <laughs> and they're only like, I don't know, a dollar or two dollars each. So I thought, okay, just pick a couple. You can go back and get them. But you know what? I went a little crazy. I got six and I thought I would share with you the flavors that I got. So first one is Honey Crisp Cider. Oh, it smells like fall. Oh my gosh. Cinnamon apples. Amazing. Spice it up. Oh, this smells like kind of like a woodsy cinnamon. So good. These are all so good. I just stood there in the aisle at Walmart and I'm just like smelling all of them. I look, probably looked ridiculous, but oh well. I got a couple of these. No place like home. And then I got this one. This one looks really cool. Red hot cinnamon. So 
I decided to give this a go. I'll let you know what I think about this. Obviously, let me know if you have one of these in your home. Let me know what your favorite scents are as well so I can go and search and buy some more. Let's move on to the beauty department. I needed some, I needed some of this. And of course, once I'm in the beauty department, I'm so sucked into everything else. Very easily distracted. What else is new? I got this. This is my favorite spray for my gray roots. I love this stuff. I go through this very often. It's kind of pricey, but I love it. It is the spray. This is by L'Oreal. It's the Magic Root Cover Up. You just spray it on your roots and it kind of just magically disappears all the gray. Love this so much. So I definitely picked up one of these. And then I went into the CoverGirl aisle because I've heard my friend Lip Gloss Leslie talking about this OG, I mean, just com completely old school blush from CoverGirl and how amazing it is. She loves it so much. I decided to get it. And you know what? It looks pretty awesome. This is the color Soft Minx, number 590. It looks like it's in semi packaging. I haven't opened it up yet, but I will let you know what I think. I'm excited to try it. It's got one of those cheesy little brushes. Who uses those? Um, it does have one of those as well. So excited to try that. And then I picked up one of these new Eco Tool sets, these makeup brushes. I saw Emily Noel do a review on these and she loved them. So I decided to pick them up. I'm a sucker for makeup brushes. We all know this. Do I need more? Hell no. Did I want these? Of course. So I decided to pick them up. They are like little round tips. Um, let me actually I can see if I can open it up. Sometimes these packaging, these plastic packages are hard to get into, um, but they look awesome. So I'm excited to try these. Oh yeah, there you go. So you get this kind of paddle type brush. Ooh, these are really nice and, and heavy. Very, uh, very light. So they have three different sizes, as you can see. This one I assume would be used for foundation. You can use this one for maybe blush or contour. And this one would be good for, um, for uh, under eyes concealer. So I'm really excited to give these a go. I love EcoTools brushes. They are great quality for the money and I am excited to give these a try. Next find from the beauty department is something that looks super intriguing to me. This is by the brand And Metrics. And these are called brow wax strips, patented strips that you can use to help shape your brows. How cool is that? I'm like, that sounds pretty cool. Um, sometimes I go to the salon to get my brows done. Sometimes I like to do them by myself. These look kind of interesting, so I thought I would give them a try. I will definitely have to try these out and let you know what I think. These are finishing wipes. It looks like it comes with four. Here's instructions, and then it looks like it comes with these pre-formed strips. So I guess you're supposed to put like one strip over and one strip under to give you the perfect brow shape. So those are cool. I don't remember how much these were, but I thought that these looked really neat. And I will definitely uh, have to report back to you what I think. So last thing I found when I was in the cosmetic department, I found a whole display of like the um, Wet n Wild Halloween stuff. They have all sorts of fantasy, what is it, fantasy maker Halloween makeup that they come out with every year. They had these stencils and I thought these were so cool. I mean, obviously these would be really awesome for, um, you know, for decorating your face for Halloween. But what I bought these for, I bought them for swatches. Cool, right? Look at these. Um, I got two different packs. They're the same thing, but look at you get stars on the front and then all sorts of other shapes on the back. How cool. I thought these were really fun. I think that like doing little swatches with the hearts would be fun. I think these are just sticker, sticker stencil packs. So I don't know. These were like a dollar or two. I thought I'd give them a try. So next, let's get into the clothing. I told you Walmart, I feel, has been killing it with their awesome clothing lately. They've got great fashionable styles. They've got a lot of really trendy things. 
and they're at really good prices. I bought this shirt, um, I want to say maybe mid-summer. I've washed it so many times and it still looks amazing. So I've been really, really happy with the quality. And this was like, I don't know, maybe $10. You can't beat it. So I've <laughs> definitely found some things that I have picked up here and there. I wanted to share these with you. First being just a regular basic t-shirt. This is from the brand Time and True. I got it kind of big because when I wash them, they tend to shrink. But you know what? It's all cotton. Of course, any t-shirt's going to shrink when it's all cotton. I did get a double XL and this was $6. So love getting just basics. I also got a basic long sleeve tee. I picked up a 2X. I don't usually wear a 2X, but I think this is going to be kind of big on me. But again, I do like things oversized. Once I wash it, I'm sure it'll be fine. But I like the kind of olive green camo color, and I thought this was really pretty. This um, was a from, from the brand Terra Sky. Again, just a good basic t-shirt. So when I walked by these, I was like, hmm, these look kind of comfy. These look kind of cozy. These are just fun little fleece pants that looked all sorts of awesome for the <laughs> for the winter oops they're just a little drawstring pant i love the print on them they're very lightweight they have the little elastic band at the bottom so they're really cute they've got pockets here i just thought these would be great for wearing around the house i'm not sure i'd wear these out but I thought they'd be really cute and comfortable for just around the house. So I really, really thought those were cute. This is from the brand Nobo. Nobo? No Boundaries? Nobo. Nobo. I don't think that's the brand. No Boundaries. Um, this was in the junior section, and these were $12.88. So this next outfit is super cute for casual occasions. I think it'd be great for just going up to the store, going to the mall, going to the movies with your friends, whatever. I think it's really, really cute. It comes in a couple different colors and I may be tempted to go back and get some. I don't know. I got black because I live in black. I love black and I just think it's really fun. It is kind of a lightweight sweatshirt material. It's not I guess it's t-shirt material, but it's on the heavier side. It's not really a sweatshirt because it's not fleecy in the inside. It's just a really cute sweatshirt type look. And I love the little lace detailing on the bottom. I thought this was so cute. I got this in a 1X. Again, I like my things a little bit bigger. This is polyester and rayon, so it probably won't shrink much. But I like that it's long so it can cover my booty area. I do like that. And then this has the matching pants, which I thought was so cute. Oh my gosh, they're like little crop pants. Um, they've got the little elastic around the ankle to make them a little bit shorter. I thought these were adorable. I got this in a 0X, <laughs> a 0X, but I just thought these were super, super cute and together, I love them together. So I love this. The shirt was $13, I mean $13 you guys. And the pants were $13 as well. Y'all, I'm obsessed with jeans and I have so many jeans, but I was roaming the aisles one day and I saw these Levi jeans and I was like, oh, those are so cute. I loved the wash, the finish on the front of them. They're really nice and faded kind of at the uh, thigh and knee area. And then I like the bottom, how they're kind of distressed at the bottom. These are super cute. They fit me. They're kind of stretchy, which I like. They're not like super stretchy. These are by the brand Levi Strauss as well. These are the signature high rise ankle and I got a size 14. So I thought these were really, really cute. These I want to say were like $22, 26. These were a little bit more expensive than, you know, anything else that I bought there, but I really like the quality of a Levi jean. I mean, obviously, they've got some really cute little distressing here on the pockets. So I really like these. I thought they were super cute. I think that they'll be great for the rest of the fall and going into the winter. And then lastly, I'm sure you've seen this maybe all over because a lot of people have been talking about this. I saw this, I found this cute little jacket cardigan thing in the intimate department, kind of where the um, the nightgowns are and the, the pajamas are. This is so cute, it reminds me of those um, barefoot dreams 
jackets. It's so cozy. It is so cute. They had this kind of in a maroon color, but I liked this kind of bluish navy color. I washed it. When I tried it on in the store, you got to beware because this fuzzy stuff got all over my clothes and I had a black shirt on. Mistake. But I came home and washed it and now it doesn't shred. It's just so cozy. This would be great just again to wear around the house when it's really cold out. This would be cute even just like with a white tank underneath and some ripped jeans. I just think this is adorable and this was like $12. Are you kidding me right now? I love this. So that does it for my Walmart haul. Please let me know what your thoughts are on videos like this. I would love to hear from you. If you like these types of videos, please let me know. If not, that is fine. Let me know that as well. I obviously want to provide you with content that you enjoy watching. So please, please let me know down in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. I appreciate your time so much. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.